Hey folks, welcome to part two of this aggregation video where in the first part we went ahead and we created some code to index the staking rewards. So this was the simple code here where at the moment I'm still indexing blocks starting from around 7 million and in the query looking for the crypto account, the date, the amount that was in the transfer and also the block height. So in this part of the video what we want to do is look at how we can aggregate this information. Let's now jump back to our code. I'll stop the container first of all. And I'm going to go ahead into the schema file here and I'm going to create a second entity and I'm going to call it some reward. I've got the mandatory ID field as always, but then I'm going to have something called the total reward. So this will be our aggregation here, our summation. And also I'll include the block height. Let me save this. Now what I'll do is jump into the manifest file and I'm going to add a second handler. Now this handler is going to be called handle some rewarded. And I just want to make sure that the indentation is correct. Otherwise I'll get an error. So it's called handle some rewarded. The module and the method is still the same, however. So this is fine. Let's save this file. And then next up, let's now jump into our mappings file. And it's here where I want to go and create another function here. I'm going to call it handle some rewarded. And again, it should look very familiar. I've got my events being defined here, just like above. The main difference here is that I want to go and grab an account from some reward. So basically I'm querying the database. And if I don't have anything, it's undefined, then I want to create a new instance of it. So here I've got a helper function. Let's put this above here called function create some reward and it's going to accept an account ID and it's effectively going to create a new instance of some reward and then initialize the total reward field to zero. So it's very similar to what this line of code does but it's inside a function and it will be executed if the entity returns an undefined value. So basically it's a new record in the database which is exactly what we want. Now, in order to get rid of these red squiggly lines or these errors, let's go ahead and generate the code, like so. Let's import the sum reward. Let's save this and let's build the code. So the code has built successfully. Just wanted to point out that the key aggregation line of code is this one here, where we are grabbing the total reward, making it equal to the total reward plus the new reward. So this is how we're going to get the total amount of dot for a particular account. So let's now go ahead and rebuild the project. Please note that because we have modified our schema, we need to delete our database and regenerate it. So let me delete this. And then I shall run docker compose up again. So now the node has started. It's fetching blocks. Let's jump across into our playground. This was our previous query. And let me go ahead and see if I can change this mode from dark to light. There we go. That might be easier to see. And if I try to run this, I still get the existing results. Let's go first three, like so. But what I want to do is query for some rewards. So let's go and delete this and go some rewards. And the documentation here is really useful because you know you can go and traverse some rewards, nodes, and then my total rewards. So that's what I'll do. 
some rewards, nodes, total rewards. Let's go ahead and run this. And there you have it. I've got my total rewards. Let's look at what other fields we can pull out. We can go ID. We can also go uh, block height as well. So let's run this. So what this is telling me is that my ID or the crypto address has received this amount of reward at this block height. In fact, if I go ahead and reverse the order to tidy things up, you can see here I've got the block height, the total reward being received at this address. But again, uh, this is great, but it would be nicer if we could see for the total rewards the actual individual contributions. Because how can we be sure or even count how many individual rewards have made up this total reward? So that's what we'll do in the next video.